So I tortured another shirt, as you can see. Let's see how it's... With the uh, shaving cream and hot water irrigation. All right, I know where I'm going from here. It's not going to have hot water irrigation, but it is going to be shaving cream, and it's going to be a reverse dye. So let's toss that off to the side, get a new black shirt out, throw something on here so it'll focus. All right, I'm going to crumple this up, a loose crumple, and then we're going to do a reverse dye with the Out White Bright. A very small amount, thin layer of Out White Bright. All right, let's do this. This is going to work. Actually, I'm going to make this damp real quick. All right, now it's damp. All right, off to undye. All right, using Out White Bright, I'm starting with three quarters of a cup of water. So I'll sprinkle the Out White Bright in, three quarters of a cup of boiling hot water, and then drop this in one side. Wait maybe 30 seconds at the most, pull it out, drop it in another, and then redo the same another three quarters of a cup of Out White Bright with it upside down. Saying it all because I'm going to be wearing a respirator during this. All right, this is probably just going to make a mess, but I'm going to try it. I've got scarlet, cerulean blue, and lemon yellow, and these are all from Dharma. These are mixed up as liquids. Um, one teaspoon per ounce of water. I'm going to spray this side down with the shaving cream, do all the dye stuff on it, and then flip it over on top of this side. And take the whole thing, flip it over, flip this back over, and then do the shaving cream and then flip it back on. All without making a giant mess. <laughs> Feel free to put your bets down below if you think this is going to work or if I'm going to make another giant mess. All right. I think it has a fighting chance to work. I know I can just lay this out on paper or the floor or um, garbage bags, plastic, whatever. I know I can do that and do it that way, but I, I don't like taking up a large amount of space where I, can, where I would otherwise work or where I would otherwise eat. So we're going to try it on this, see if this mat, mat actually works for this. All right, let's go ahead and get started.
we'll let that sit for probably, I don't know, at least 12 hours? I have no idea. All right, it's been, I don't know, 12 hours, 16 hours, somewhere around there. Let's go ahead and rinse this off. I forgot to say what I had done on this. So black shirt and the jacquard decolorant was used. I think I prefer that as far as getting like a true white because it takes it all the way down. The problem is trying to steam and press something when it's crumpled and trying to get that steam and pressure down into it. That didn't work so well. I had a lot of trouble with that and I tried um, several different things to try and get enough heat into it to um, decolor everything. So I'm not, I like the idea of using it, but I'm not sure it's the best idea going forward. So we'll see how this new method works. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, if you saw the last video, you know my son's opinion of these attempts at this shirt. Um, the whole stop murdering the shirt. Here's the front. Here's the back. I don't know. I'm really torn between this is absolutely horrible and this is kind of cool and has potential. The only reason I'm saying that is the colors are really bright. Okay, so I did that, what, hyper concentration and let it sit for, I don't know, it's about 16 hours. And the colors are really bright. I mean, the yellow is bright on a reverse dye, which is pretty cool. Reds are nice. Well, they turn out pink, but you get the idea. The blues are good. But still, it's only in certain areas, and there's all these open areas. And even if it was this, I mashed on it a lot. There's no reason for it to not be all over the place. So, short of me doing it on a giant sheet, like I was mentioning earlier, which I'm not going to do. I think I'm just giving up on this. It doesn't look like I, what I was trying to get it to look like anyway. Now look, this was like folded over here or something weird. I don't even know what that... Okay. Anyway, the reason I think this is kind of cool looking is it looks almost comic book-like. I mean... Well, in person it does. On the monitor that I'm watching while doing this it does. I don't know what it's actually going to look up, like on the video when I go to edit it. But it looks like that bright hyper color comic book kind of thing. That's kind of cool. I think I'm going to go ahead and list this one out in the shop because it's kind of cool in a way. I don't know. Seriously, what are your thoughts? Let me know down below. I'm going to give it a break for a while on these um, the odd shaving cream things. Uh, for those that said, hey, you can do shaving cream this way on more solid objects like shoes and hats and that kind of thing. Yes, I'm aware of that. I've done that. It. I was looking for a certain look, but yet not completely covering the shirt, more like it's broken up, like a scrunch kind of look or a spiral kind of look where it's only in specific places. I wasn't looking for the overall watercolor shaving cream kind of look. So that's why I attempted this from the beginning. Anyway, if you have any comments, suggestions, thoughts on the whole thing, let me know down below. If you're interested in buying this one um, and it's still in the shop at the time, hey, um, it's listed right here to go to it. It's dieforit.com uh, with the numeric for. And until next time, thanks for watching.